and this is where I do my burnishing. Nice. And basically how that's done is with a little, I can get the napkin out here, just a little piece of paper towel. I see. And I'll just let that sit for a second. Put that right here. Let's take this guy as a sample. And we'll demonstrate. Okay. Aha! It's back, tails out. So we'll have to reverse. I've had problems with the smaller reels, um, the Sony um, V30D tapes, yeah. um, because the hub size is smaller on the EIA size hub, and they won't actually fit on the reel. So having done this, I like to use a lot of light, and I'll just move my little friend up here so I can see this thing a little bit better. The light has been warming these tapes a bit. Oh. This thing now has migrated a bit. I'm okay with this. I will do this. And very gentle pressure. And I try to do this on every tape at least twice. It invariably helps you find the masking tape splice the scotch tape splice, or the occasional staple yep. that, yeah. that somebody has done. I got some. I got a tape with staples in it. Yeah, I have that. I keep the head block for the Ampex uh, audio heads there so I can rest my hands on it. And this is done by just gentle pressure. I, I can feel the tension. If this is really sticky, I will loosen the tension, but this is the best position to physically feel it. Right, so this removes all the migrated binder. Now there is, that's what has come off, which is very, very minimal. Some of these, here's an example of something that was much more severe, and here's something even more severe. These are just, th that stuff comes off, and it's a very crusty, gummy, material, but yeah. this, this material came out pretty simple. Right. Even tapes that I've found that have been uh, in a hermetically sealed vault and have never been opened. Oh yeah. The, uh, I've had three from the Army Corps of Engineers that um, there were a helicopter flyby of the uh, seashore damage due to a hurricane and they had never been rewound even. And two of them were fine and one of them was, was a stinker. And, it, and they had never been rewound, just put back in the box and left for five years. Now I can also feel the friction and I can feel the temperature with the side of my fingers. And if I feel it getting warmer than I'm comfortable with, I will release the tension a bit. But this position and this feeling, plus the light, you can actually see uh, the ripples in the tape as it goes wheeling by. It lets me uh, increase or decrease the finger tension. In most cases, what we just did, two passes, one coming and one going, is enough to let the tape play. And uh, Do you clean the tape first and then bake it? Or do you bake it, then clean it? In most cases, I will do this first. Um, uh, this has been sitting here warming for maybe a week. Um, there's some one inch stuff here as well. The one inch stuff is very difficult to deal with because the one inch stuff doesn't want to fit on this reel correctly. So I've had to be creative with all kinds of adapters. This is a radiator hose clamp. Um, and I'll show you how I do that. And it's, I, I must say I get a little worried sometimes with the one inch stuff. Their reel hub is a little different. Um, I have to do it on this side. Oh, 
and I have to go on this side with it. And what I will do is then take this radiator hose clamp thing that's kind of a jury rig thing. And that will just hold it in place. Yep. yep. And then what I will do is put our NAB hub adapter back and grab ourselves a regular NAB reel and uh, I won't do it right now because if, if anything ever happened I'd be really embarrassed yeah but um, that is one of the processes I've done one inch type C the same way um, using the the NAB adapters for that purpose but it works out pretty well actually I see that sure good job